Alright, first and foremost, want to see Kalalal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kodash, the oneness to the elders and apostles of Graham Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this word in our sin sincerity and in our truth. Alright, I'm the brother Yah Yahaya from James Kings in Jamaica County. Here, once again, with a quick lesson, pretty much going into the trust, trust in the Lord. Yeah. The book of Proverbs 3 verse 5 says trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths so scripture says trust in the Lord with all thine heart meaning all your mind Zain, lean not unto thine own understanding don't lean unto what you think is right what you think is just right right and in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths in all your everything you do you know acknowledge the every father and he shall direct thy paths we acknowledge the every father you know scripture said the word is a light under thy feet and a lamp under thy path is it me so use the word use the scriptures for navigate day to day Scripture says, be, a do, be he doers of the word and not hearers only. Right? So, you have to be a doer of the word. And that is how you direct the part through instructions for the Heavenly Father. You see, in the scripture, in the book of Proverbs, one tells you that, um, tells you that the word, you in, is supposed to be an a instruction of wisdom. You see, in Proverbs 1, verse 2, it says, to know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment and equity, to give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's like a, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So that is how you, um, you know, trust in the Lord, man. You trust in the Lord by, by taking heed there to according to the word, you know, following after the word, what the word says for you to do. And sometimes it might be uncomfortable, certain instructions that, that is being applied with. You know, it might be uncomfortable to execute. For example, um, if you're supposed to confront a brother about a particular um, disagreement or about a particular thing, you know, it might be uncomfortable to go to the brother and say, brother, X, Y, Z. It might be uncomfortable to rebuke a brother. That's just an example, you know. But nevertheless, the scriptures tell you that his um, open rebuke is better than secret love, you know. We might peradventure, you know, you might be right in the matter adventure you might win your brother you might cause your brother um, you might stop your brother from slipping you know and stop your stop your stop from losing your brother you know so therefore you have to do it and it's uncomfortable but nevertheless trust in the Lord man. trust in the Lord with all thine heart man. and lead not in thy own understanding all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path even the way or you approach your brother you see me that is another matter understand because you have to approach the brother within the spirit of righteousness there's a manner in how you display yourself which makes it wrong and which makes it right two men can be doing can be saying the same thing right but one bring it off in a humble manner and another one bring it off from a standpoint of pride right which one you think will be more just which one you think will be received the one that brings it off from the standpoint of humility. You understand? So therefore, with that, that is how you, you trust in that level further. That's how you lean that unto thy own understanding. You know? You're not coming from a, 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 a position of your own feelings. You know? What you feel that is right. You're coming from a position of what the scripture says is right. You know? That's why you're supposed to trust in the Lord with all thine heart man. you understand and believe me whenever you do these things it's a building of the spirit it's a building of spiritual character you know 
you find yourself becoming more grounded in the truth, more grounded in the faith. Because you can see where the Heavenly Father is navigating you onto um, a better standing, you know, preparing you for the days to come, preparing you for salvation. You understand? Another point within trusting in the Lord is certain things might not be going your way. You know, let's say for instance you are in a position where you're undertaking a certain situation. You know, whatever it might be, you know, you're going about your day to day, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and everything now seems to be going um, correct. You know, in that point, you have to remember that when you come to serve the Lord, you have to prepare your soul for temptation, prepare yourself for trial. You know, that is a part of trusting in the Lord. Look on Job, use Job as an example. Job said, Though he slay me, yet will I maintain my ways within him. He trusted the Lord through the process of affliction. You know? Because at that point in time, it is supposed to be a trial of your faith. I think the scripture tells you that in the book of James. Right? The book of James, let me say for chapter 1. Is it me? Uh, James 1, verse 2. We say, My brethren, count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptations, temptations meaning trials, right? Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience, right? The word patience goes back to the word endurance to be hardened. Does it mean? So the trying of your faith work in patience, right? Makes you harder, makes you more grounded, more rooted in the faith. Does it mean? It makes you, makes you make, exemplify your faith, your faith, so to speak. Is it me? It says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work with patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that he might be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You understand? He might be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. You know? So when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. Have that faith within the Lord, man. Trust the Lord that the process that you're going through right now, it is for a purpose. You know? The difficulty that you're you're going through and it is for a purpose but it is for a purpose for what is to come which is the kingdom and for now you know because things are happening where you're going through a particular situation and you're seeing difficulties you're seeing the failures but don't stop because if you do stop that is a reflection of an of a non-righteous character you know especially if you know what you're doing is is in the standpoint of righteousness because I mean don't stop you know because at the end of the day, that is a reflection of the type of man you are. You're not fitting for the kingdom of heaven. You understand? Going from there to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thine heart aright, meaning for set your mind aright, meaning for trust in the Lord, lean not unto thine own understanding, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path right and constantly endure right and make not haste in time of trouble cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end right cleave unto him trust the process trust the process the scripture says too much tribulation shall he enter into the kingdom of heaven is it me you have to be brought to a position of difficulty you have to be hardened in the heavenly father your faith has to be tried all of these things have to happen to prove you you understand to prove you you understand to show that yes you're worthy of the glory which is to be had so some situations we're going through paul man paul went through a, a plethora of things you know the word plethora mean many zine um many are things you know for the for the for the for the for the for the, the, the broadening of the ministry you know for the for you know paul even said it you know say yo the things that he went through is to bolster you know not in so many words the faith of those who follow you understand so yo you're in this world in this dispensation of time you know you're following after the scriptures you're undertaking certain situations you realize you're having failures here and there and here and there but nevertheless trust not the lord because at the end of the day just like Job, you know, got rewarded and basically got 
um, lifted up. Likewise, if we steer the course, you know, within that realm of righteousness, yo, know, the Heavenly Father will reward us. You know, the Heavenly Father will, will put us upon something. This is the this is the condition of the battle which we must fight here. You see me? We have to have ups and downs, highs and lows. Just like Paul, we have to learn how to be a bone and how to be a beast. You understand? And that it all boils down to trusting in the process that the Lord has laid out for us. You see me? That's it, man. Just trust the Lord, you So with that, hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to see Kalalal, Yahweh, Washem Yoshai, Washem Kar Kodash, to bring us to the elders and apostles of Raymond Stone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and truth. Shalom.